There's stories of people who have lost their entire families, you know. People need to do something to come to terms with this loss. A large crowd gathered for a candlelight vigil at Queen and Lansdowne to remember those affected by the devastating earthquake that struck Nepal over the weekend. Almost everyone here has family or friends who live in Tibet or Nepal, and tonight, the little candle in memory of the hundreds of lives that were lost and the hundreds who are now homeless. My dad uh, and my oldest brother are in Nepal at the time, my uncle and aunt. Uh, fortunately, uh, they have you know, not been harmed, but um, again, you know, there's so many people and we're extended relatives that I don't know about. It's very, very saddening. Um, and we just want to be part of um, the, uh, um, the worldwide the effort that we're, we're putting together uh, to help our uh, friends and family uh, back home. I would highly encourage that. Donate to the Red Cross, donate to uh, MSF, all the organizations that are working in Nepal. As for Canadians who are stranded in Nepal, many are finally on their way home. This Canadian Armed Forces C-17 Globemaster left Kathmandu this afternoon. It has since landed in New Delhi, carrying about 100 passengers. More than 70 others have already been able to depart from Nepal on commercial flights. Rignam Wong Kong says his mom arrived from Kathmandu today. She was visiting my grandmother, who actually just had knee surgery, and so she was taking care of my grandmother. And uh, then the earthquake happened, and my grandmother is okay as well, thankfully, and uh, doing well in Kathmandu. Organizers are hoping to raise $10,000, and the Canadian government is matching dollar for dollar. To find out how you can donate or more information, just go to our website, citynews.ca. We'll provide a link. At Parkdale Collegiate, Anavlakos, City News.